When Pauline Davis ran the 200 meters in Sydney, Australia in the 2000 Olympics, the race for which she now holds the gold medal, she was an employee of the Ministry of Tourism. She recently attributed much of her success to that ministry. They have supported me, they have allowed me the time off to train, they have allowed me the time off to go overseas and to compete for the Bahamas. And on top of that, the reason I speak the way I speak intelligently and able to, to express myself was because of the training that I received from tourism. The world's newest gold medalist says that it is the greatest feeling in the world to represent your country, but when she reflects on the events that have led up to her receiving this medal, she feels sorry for some of her competitors. I at least had, a, had an opportunity to get on that podium. But you think of the person that got fourth place. That person never had the chance to get on that podium. So I am, I am I'm very grateful that I was at least able to get on the podium. The thing that I missed the most more than anything in the world was not being able to hear my national anthem play and not being able to see my flag race. That was the one thing that stands out in my mind. Davis, who has traveled to more than 170 countries to compete, says that while she has forgiven Marion Jones, the former U.S. track and field sensation who was stripped of the gold medal, she would still like to see her take responsibility for her actions. I felt really bad for Marion, you know, because I kind of felt that maybe she wasn't given the type of love that I, that I received as a child, because I know the story about her dad and her searching for that love and going to see her dad, and he's ignoring her, and she really wanted that love from her dad. I feel like I was so blessed by having my dad and my mom and then having the whole village of the Bahamas raising me. But then when I, when I reflect on it and, and when I hear her speak, she seems not to be rem to, to, she seemed to not still take full responsibility for her actions, and that bothers me a little bit. Davis says that she always tries to remember that what God has in store for you is yours and yours alone. This gold medal, she says, is the perfect example of that. For the Tourism Today Network, I'm Gina Seeley.